What were we doing? Ah, yes, pills. We're looking for some pills. Grabbing some pills. Oh, uh, they were behind the counter, if I remember correctly. There was a zombie in the po toilet. Ooh, an ATM. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Well, get some money out, huh? Huh? It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Though we're not gonna need money anymore. But hey. Let's keep looking around. Oh yeah, energy bar. Score. Okay. Maybe into the office next. Let's just take another energy bar. We can't sure. let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Ducky. Anything else? I think that's everything. Oh no, there's a few other things. Uh, greeting no, cards. I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. <laughs> this guy's great. Keeping it real we with the photos need to on the get wall. Back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. <laughs> What's the point in that? I didn't even say nothing. I don't remember them very well. Mm -hmm. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? Things. Stuff. If you watch The Walking Dead, you'll get that reference. Okay. Didn't I just get past the office? Am I getting lost again? Here it is. Okay, let's go in the office. Alive inside. Who's alive inside? Oh. Blood on the floor. Clementine's there to see it. I can't. I can't think about them in here. This door leads to the back alley. Uh, maybe someone in the first aid box, eh? The first aid kit. The first aid kit. The first aid kit, yeah. How about we open that sucker up? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. <laughs> Locally, yeah. Yeah, let's move this pallet, shall we? The palletness. The palletness is in the way of. What's that? Walking stick? What is that? Yeah, it's a walking stick. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Okay, what else do we have on this desk then? Looks like it's in the way that I'm door. I'm clear there. a path to opening that door. Yep. Sounds like a plan. I don't think there's anything on the desk we can loot. Just checking. Yeah, but no, there might be something on the desk, but it doesn't look like it. Let's move it. Better get this door clear, huh? Let's see what's can in there. Can I help? <laughs> sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers <laughs> on the drawers. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. 
You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? None. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I guess let's finish moving the desk, huh? Yeah, let's do it. Okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. We got that fist aid kit. I'll find you a bandage. Good job we found the first aid kit. And, oh, we missed the TV. I kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. This is the remote. There's a photo over there. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? What's it to you? To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I thought someone would know. Lee? Yeah? Now Clementine does too. my parents come home and I'm not there? Lee? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Because Clementine has, suddenly has no questions about the murder or anything. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Yeah, where's the remote? I'm desperate to find the remote. I'm maybe sending the bed. Well, Dad's some... came in here hoping to survive. Looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Nope, no remote. Oh well. Let's see if that first aid kit sorted. And it's bandaging time. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. I 
How do we select stuff? Is it like one, two? No. Let's get this cut oh, covered. Down. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Let's see what's inside. I'm dying to see what's inside the pharmacy. It's locked. Oh, come we on. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Yeah. Ah, now we can access the drawer magically. Nothing in it. Let's search that drawer. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Oh, now we're talking. Let's search some TV then. That's what I figured. Nothing on. Oh, man. That sucks. Also, on to watch some TV. Let's see if we can find those keys. Where would I hide a pair of keys? A set of keys, even. Is that not in the bedding? My pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Well, I don't think they would be in here, so... So I don't see anything else in here, so... Unless it's, like, hidden behind something that I just haven't seen yet, but... Maybe Clementine knows where it is. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Well, I guess it's not in here, because otherwise we'd have a... Uh... Let's see if we can find the key out of here. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why oh, now she asks. That? that lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's, uh, head back to the others. Let's try to find this damn key. It should be behind, like, the bar or something. We need to talk to people first. Hey know. there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. 
I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Yee, energy bar. That's still no sign of those keys. If I was a set of keys, where would I be? Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Oh, we get to fix it. Hmm, nothing. Probably the batteries. Yep. No batteries. No batteries in this thing. <laughs> what now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find <laughs> some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. That's <laughs> so sexist. It's not funny. <laughs> I wouldn't know what batteries go in the radio, and I didn't know there wasn't radios in the batteries. Oh, batteries in the radio. You. What's this? It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so... We ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? I don't know. Well, wouldn't they be at their house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, I'm not sure they made it. We passed some houses on the way in and things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Okay, <laughs> that was a lot of dialogue. Uh, there's got to be a key around here someplace. I guess we'll find it. Eventually.
How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Let's see if we can patch things up with them with a candy bar. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. By their loyalty with candy. Anyway, let's take a step outside, shall we? How do we get outside, anyway? Oh, Clementine should get one, too. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Ah. Good, good, good. At least we have one left for Clem. Uh, we should be going outside, you know. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. <laughs> big stumpy ones. <laughs> Anyway, we should go outside. I can't see anything else to do. I'll maybe talk to this fella, talk to Doug, maybe look at the cork board. The IT guy. <laughs> Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Jesus. It's gonna be hard to get through. Delicious. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Alright, let's take a look around. I doubt there's anything in this entrance, Teddy. Let's take a look at this lock here. It's a combination lock. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Why well, we got the remote option? <laughs> what can we use the remote on? And we can also use the photo. 
Let's use the photo on this. Look at Ooh. the one trapped over there. Better him than us, huh? Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of V. Has a familiar face. Oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. And that's what I I'll need the photo can find. We have a photo. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Anything else? So, what happens if we use the remote? Is it gonna like... Is it gonna turn on some alarm or something? Let's find out. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already <laughs> hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. Gonna need something else. Ah, a brick. I can't reach that brick. Oh. I can't reach that brick. But he can. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. That's what we need the brick for. Let's head back inside. Okay. How are we gonna get that brick, though? Talk to Carly, okay. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Did 
you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys. Oh, hey, man. it's Glenn. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> Damn right. Oh, how are we going to do it without a weapon? Ah, axe. Get the axe. Get the axe. An axe right there, but there's a dude next to it. Hmm. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's going to be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. <laughs> So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly, noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. The girl's behind that door. Those two seem to be on the scent. Probably make it over to the RV or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Hmm. We're going to need weapons. How are we going to get the weapons, though? I mean, there's an axe there, but... I guess we got no choice. I mean, we can't go right. We can't go back, so... We gotta go this way. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. So what do we do? I think you're gonna need more than your fists, man. Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. Okay, let's go back. Gotta go this way, I guess. We can hide by that pickup. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Let's go have a look. Ooh, screw that. Stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. You said it, huh? Ow! Hey, man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Maybe we can get in the door. Oh, why is it locked? Maybe it's not locked on the other side, though. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. I'm 
no choice for really. I'm done trying to punch out windows. Hmm. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Let's try going around the other way. Can we not do that? I guess we can. He's not going anywhere. So let's go. Okay. Let's see what Glenn attracts the others. So what do we do? Get a screwdriver. I can see this isn't going to be simple job, so it seems to want us to go back. So I'm going to go back. There must be something I missed. That wasn't there before, was it? Oh, I missed the pillow. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Yeah, we can use it to uh, to soften the impact of the window. Smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. I figured we used the pillow on the on the truck. Surely. Yeah. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. You put the pillow next to the window and it softens the sound, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Use the pillow on the zombie. But the noise. <laughs> Just follow my lead. I'll oh, shoot through a pillow. Me. Well, that can work. Okay. That's that not was that quiet. sick. Okay, we we'll got that. I prefer cover that can't just roll away. You have to be careful with your ride up on ramps like this. Hey, a spark plug. What's that for? Why does it put us here? I guess because we can get in here now with the break the window of the spark plug. How's that any quieter? <laughs> Wait. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. So I guess we're gonna scratch it. Or not. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, it's an owl. Okay. 
That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, we're all tooled up and ready to go. Pretty much. I guess we go back here now and kill the other one. Can't kill a guy. Oh, oh, the sack guy to kill. Okay. Are oh, we good for the heart? I guess he still has no headshots. Lee, get him in the face. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for having my back. For sure. Don't leave it in there. Aww. Dude, oh. where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? One fire axe, come to Papa. Two more. That should help. All right, now we need to liberate this lady. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Sucker open, see who's in there. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Yeah, breathe that door down. <laughs> Here's Johnny. I'm coming out. Hey. Whoa. You're hurt. Oh, God. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you. I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay. We'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine.
Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Hardcore, man. Down at the Travelia Hotel. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. All right, well, I thought we were going to get those pills, but it seems we did a little detour to the motel. Oh, well, hopefully next time we'll get those pills and get that, uh, get that sassy old man back on his feet so we can get out of here. But anyway, see you next time, guys.